fire danger is going to be rising across the entire geographic area in the coming week owing to the very hot temperatures and low humidities coming our way. We also have a feature called atmospheric instability setting up and that simply allows the uh, forest fires that are already burning to vent their heat upwards uh, more efficiently and therefore they create a bigger smoke column, they create uh, more swirly, uh, squirrely winds in the vicinity of the fire, uh, they create more spot fires and crowning. So all that kind of information uh, looks like it's all coming together at the same time at the same place over the northwest this week. So we anticipate a number of days of warming and drying, which is just drive fire danger higher and higher each day. And typically after several days of warming and drying, there's some kind of weather event that comes through that causes a change in weather. It brings winds, it brings lightning, it brings atmospheric instability. And when these things all come together, they can either ignite new fires or cause flare-ups on existing fires or both at the same time. And that's typically what winds up happening at the end of one of these warm dry spells. And that's what we're on the watch out at this point. So folks, let's all be safe out there and we'll see you on the next Wildland Fire Minute.